Hello everyone. I Chef Santosh Malkoti from Chitkara School of Hospitality Punjab campus welcome you all in the session. This session is in continuation of the larger topic which we have covered in the previous sessions. Till now we have covered three sub topics under larger chapter which are like larger equipment and layout, larger control and yield testing. And in today's session you are going to learn about duties and responsibilities of a larder chef after the completion of the session you will be able to describe the various functions performed by the larder department elaborate the brigade of a larder kitchen of a five star hotel identify the typical sections of a larder and the specific jobs performed by each section and enumerate the duties and responsibilities of a larder chef Larder kitchen is a unique kitchen which prepares all types of cold meat, fish and vegetables for buffets, for restaurants, banquets as well as a la carte. It is a much specialized area of the kitchen as it deals with artistic presentations of food. Larder kitchen performs several tasks. Some of the vital functions are mentioned over here. Larder kitchen prepares all types of cold meats. It can be veg or non-veg, for example, pate, terrine, force meat, etc. Larder is responsible for the first course of the meal that a guest encounters and which is known as adhavs. Larder prepares variety of props and displays for buffets and also for elegant events. One of the most crucial job of larder is to store the perishable items in the best possible way as all the items procured and stored in a larder kitchen have huge monetary value and it can put a hole in your pocket if you don't store them in best possible way. Also dealing with the butchery requirements of the various sections of the kitchen is again a prime job of larder. Various types of meat are cut and portioned here are supplied to various kitchens. Apart from the mentioned vital functions over here, there are many other functions which you will be able to come to know as you learn more about the larder. As there is a brigade system for a kitchen which was invented by the legendary French chef Augustus Escoffier in early 20th century. The kitchen brigade system is basically a hierarchy system which is commonly followed in modern kitchen till now. Garde Manger too has its own brigade. The larder chef is the master chef who has technical and managerial skills to perform the task highly specialized to this kitchen. Under him or her is a brigade of chefs, cooks and commies who work together as a team to achieve the goals and objectives of the larder section. The second in command of the larder is the position of sous chef or even a junior sous chef commonly known as kitchen executive who is responsible for carrying out the main operations in the department. He or she heads the brigade of CDPs commonly known as chef the party that are at a supervisory grade. Each CDP is in charge of a particular section and has few commies and apprentices working under him or her. An apprentice is an entry level staff who is beginning to learn the art and skill of any kitchen. After few years of being an apprentice, he or she would get promoted to commies and then up the hierarchical ladder based on performance. The chart displayed in the slide shows the hierarchical structure of a larder kitchen. In some hotels, there are kitchen artists who report directly to the larder chef as theirs is a 
highly skilled job and the artist are master craftsmen in hotels the larder kitchen has many roles to play it is a unit which acts as a support kitchen to several other units such as for hot kitchen bakery and pastry the work in gadmanjar is varied and requires a huge amount of skill as well the scale of gadmanjar operation depends upon the type and volume of business and so will the number of staff required at times in a small establishment the larder chef may work single handed and carry out all the work himself the larder can include various sections like cold sauce and soup section it is a section which is responsible for preparing cold soups and accompanying sauces for appetizer and even for main courses different types of dressings are also prepared and stored in this in this section like tartar sauce mayonnaise etc sandwich section it prepares various cold sandwiches and it also prepares plates for hot sandwiches which are dished out from the hot kitchen a range of sandwiches that can be used for high tea a la carte or even sold packed in gourmet shop outlets in hotel can be prepared in this section salad section it is one of the most important part of larder kitchen it prepares a range of simple and compound salads that are served a la carte as well as in banquets and buffets apart from salads the larder kitchen also prepares cold fruit platters for breakfast and other meal periods in many hotels the larder kitchen also prepares the fruit basket and are sent to the guest room as amenities carving section it is highly skilled and specialized area that makes various kinds of decorative structures from fruit and vegetables or even from softened butter and margarine large block of ice can be carved to make logos for events and for elegant functions this section is the busiest of all in season in festive occasions such as christmas or any a large banqueting event which requires a display of such artistic showpiece cheese section as variety of cheese from all over the world is served in hotels and specialty restaurants this section of larder kitchen specializes in preparing cheese platters for buffets as well as for a la carte orders this section also prepares cheese platters for any room amenities other section this section of larder kitchen specializes preparing appetizer for banquets as well as for restaurant orders several popular appetizers such as antipasti from italy meze from lebanon and tapas from spain are prepared from this section the hot appetizers are prepared in hot kitchen but the cold appetizers are prepared in larder shakutri section this is one of the most skilled area of a cold kitchen it prepares various kinds of cured and smoked food hot and cold smoked food is prepared and served as salads or even as an ingredients to be used in a sandwich this section also makes force meat for sausages galantines terrines pates etc butchery section this is usually a part of the larder kitchen but it is separated from the main section as it is advisable to process raw and cooked food separately to avoid contamination various types of meats are cut and portioned here are supplied to various kitchen in some hotels butchery forms a part of food store to have a control over the expensive meat but in some hotels it is a part of the kitchen 
and directly under the control of the larder kitchen. Very often in smaller establishment, the sections could be collapsed into smaller units doing more than one task and one chef commies could be responsible for more than one section. With positions comes a lot of responsibility and accountability. It is the responsibility of the larder chef to organize, develop and supervise food production in the larder kitchen as per the standards and recipes developed by the executive chef. The specific responsibilities of a larder chef are as follows. Train and supervise staff on improved work proce procedure, quality food production, economical use of food materials, and attractive presentation of food items. Supervise and train the executives CDPs, commies, and apprentices. Review staff working under him or her. Be responsible for all the food production in the area assigned to him or her. Be responsible for overall food cost control without affecting the standards and specification laid out by top management. Accounts for the use consumption, spoilage, and control of food stuff produced or stored under his or her supervision. Attend daily and weekly meetings with chef and FNB manager. Approve a requisition from stores for materials required in his or her station. Recommend schedule changes to maintain adequate manning of all stations. By this, we come to an end of the session and with this, we have completed the first unit that is the larder. In the upcoming session, we will start with a new unit which is called as Shaputri. It will help you to understand the basic concepts of smoking, curing and other processes involved in Shaputri. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.